The key internal landmark is the ulnar artery, a round hypoechoic black structure. Medial to this, on the right side here, the ulnar nerve appears as a hyperechoic bright triangle with a honeycomb pattern. As the probe moves proximally towards the antecubital fossa, the artery drops deep and the nerve remains superficial. The best transverse ultrasound image is generated. The scanning hand rests on the table to maintain a stable image, thus allowing the puncture site analgesia to be appropriately placed in the midline of the probe. In this clip, the needle will appear from the right side of the image. The needle is carefully introduced into the ultrasound beam. Very small adjustments of probe angle and needle position may be necessary to improve the needle visibility. The needle is visible as a white line traversing through the flexor carpi ulnaris. The aim is to place the needle tip close to, but not touching the nerve, between the fascial layers, which are the white lines around the muscles of flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor digitorum profundus. Again note the smallness of the hand and needle tip movements. Tiny probe angle adjustments keep optimal needle tip visibility. Injecting just a quarter of a mil allows assessment of needle position and spread of the local anaesthetic. Note the spread over the medial and anterior aspect of the ulnar nerve. Moving the needle within the space generated by the local anaesthetic is easy and safe. Slow, small and controlled movements of the needle tip allow the nerve to be surrounded by local anaesthetic. For small peripheral nerves, it is probably not absolutely necessary to demonstrate fully circumferential spread of the local anaesthetic. Moving the probe up and down from the injection side allows assessment of the spread along the long axis of the nerve and reassures the operator that the block will be successful. <laughs>